At least one person was killed and two others were injured on Saturday following Russian shelling of Stepanivka in the southern region of Kherson, according to Ukrainian authorities. Video shared by Ukraine's presidential spokesperson, Kirillo Tomoshenko, showed the interiors of a church and a school purportedly damaged in the shelling. Tomoshenko said that a humanitarian shelter and a hospital were also struck. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reiterated his call for international allies to maintain a supply of air defense systems to Ukraine Saturday night as it deals with a seemingly relentless Russian bombing campaign. Russia spares no resource for the war against our people, precisely against the people against all Ukrainians from Lutz to Kharkiv, from Sumy to Odessa. And I'm grateful to every leader, I'm grateful to every nation, our partners who understand that Russia's large-scale investment in terror is already, imagine, more than 4,000 missiles. It's necessary to exceed it with even more help to the people against whom this terror is directed. This week, we received important decisions from the EU, partner countries in Europe, the United States, which will help maintain stability now and in the coming year. This applies to defence support, energy support and macro-financial assistance for Ukraine. But there is still work to be done. There are still vital decisions awaiting final approval and implementation. In particular, I will constantly remind dear partners, find an opportunity to give Ukraine reliable protection of the sky, a reliable air defence shield. You can do it. You can give protection to our people, 100% protection from these terrorist Russian strikes. When this happens, the main form of Russian terror, missile terror, will become simply impossible. And this will mean safety for Ukrainians, safety for millions of people and a strategic realignment of the entire military situation. The fewer opportunities Russia has for terror, the more opportunities we will have to restore and guarantee peace. Ukraine's Special Task Patrol Police, a volunteer law enforcement agency tasked with maintaining public order, released a video showing one of their officers helping a family make it out of the rubble of a building struck by Russian missiles in Kriviri. The officer is heard giving instructions to help a young girl and a woman with a toddler from a destroyed apartment and a broken stairway. The Dnipropetrovsk regional city was targeted by a barrage of Russian missiles on Friday with one strike killing a one-and-a-half-year-old toddler, according to Governor Valentin Reznichenko. In all, four people were killed and 13 injured, four of them children, authorities said. Kyiv came under fire from about 40 missiles on Friday, authorities said, nearly all intercepted by air defences. In Kherson, where Ukraine regained control last month in a significant setback for Russia, a 36-year-old man was killed and a 70-year-old woman was wounded in a Russian attack on Saturday, said regional governor Yaroslav Yanushevich.